With promising career opportunities, it's great time to become data scientist. The field of data science is seeing abundant opportunities. Companies now know the importance of data. The main job of data scientist is to collect, process and analyze the data. Before moving forward, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. One fundamental thing that a data scientist must know is statistics. Before learning any other programming language, you must have a thorough understanding about statistics. A data scientist need to have understanding about variance, mean and mode. There is no requirement to learn complex statistics. Start with basic statistics. Along with this, a data scientist must have idea about statistical optimization. On top of that, you should have basic understanding about linear algebra and calculus. Data analytics. It focuses on summarizing data in a meaningful way. This area of data science makes use of reducing methods to extract data, anticipate the future and identify trends. Both machine learning and traditional statistics are included in these tools. Data analytics includes featured engineering and also data wrangling. Programming languages. You need to know some important programming language as a data scientist. The time period required to learn a programming language may be from one month to two months. But it is mandatory to know some of the important programming language that I am mentioning below. Python is the best programming language for any data scientist. It is easy to learn as well. Python is implemented in developing machine learning algorithms, sort and categorize data. R is a prominent language in the field of data science. R enables the design of several statistical models. Statisticians use them to perform regression. Java is a favorite programming language for any developer. Java machine learning is used to implement machine learning algorithms. Popular Java libraries are used in data mining, machine learning and deep learning. We need to use different IDE for programming. Best IDE for Python is PyCharm and also Visual Basic Code. Best one for R is RStudio and for Java you can go for Eclipse, NetBeans etc. Please install all the software in your computer system and start practicing. Data visualization. The graphic display of information and data is called data visualization. You must know certain tools involved in data visualization. That includes Tableau. Tableau, one of the widely used software for data visualization. Tableau offers interactive visualization solution for more than 53,000 companies. It has excellent visualization capabilities. Other tools like Matplotlib, Google Charts and Seaborn can also use for data visualization. Web scrapping. Web scrapping is the process of extracting data from websites. Data scientists apply this technique to extract data from different websites. You can scrap data from any e-commerce website like Amazon, Flipkart, Mintra, etc. and use it for your projects. A data scientist must have general understanding about it. Tools like Scrappy. Scrappy is an open source platform and it is used to extract data from website. It is easy, quick and compatible. This is something that every data scientist must be familiar with. Next comes ParseHub. ParseHub is used by data scientists for research. It is a powerful visual based web scrapping tools which enables everyone to create their own data extraction workflows. Next comes Beautiful Soup. Beautiful Soup is not a tool. It is a library to extract data from different sources. It is a Python package used to parse HTML and XML text. Machine learning automatically generates and evaluates 
enormous amounts of data. Without involvement of human beings, it automates data analysis and generates predictions in the present. As a data scientist, you need to learn every machine learning algorithm thoroughly and understand the importance of it. Five major steps involved in machine learning are data collection. It is the first step. It is crucial to get accurate and pertinent data because the quantity and quality of the data have a direct impact on how well your machine learning model performs. Data preparation. Second step is data preparation. Data preparation is a crucial step in getting suitable data for analysis. Data preparation ensures that there are no incorrect or inaccurate data points in the data sets. Training the model. The output value is predicted using the training data set. Next comes evaluation of the model. Model evaluation is the process of using different evaluation metrics to understand a machine learning model's performance as well as its strength and weaknesses. Lastly, prediction. Now that your model is trained and evaluated, it doesn't mean it is perfect and it is ready to deploy. The model is further improved by using different parameters. For better understanding how to use all this subject, we can take up a use case. We can take up a use case of taxi vehicles. A taxi service company like Ola can use GPS to track the position of their vehicles in order to perform optimization of parking. Based on the number of vehicles, Ola cabs can redistribute the cars in advance. Each new ride is assigned to different vehicles. This is implemented using statistical analysis. For data extraction, we can use their site and implement web scrapping with different tools like Scrappy and libraries like Beautiful Soup. We can take up data set of vehicles and perform data analysis also. For data visualization, we can use Matplotlib or Tableau. In order to cluster, machine learning algorithms can be implemented in this process. Thank you. Happy learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.